guys, today's video is going to be a very last minute Christmas gift guide video, but I've done one of these every single year, and I didn't want to miss out this year, even though I've been super busy on my other channel. If you guys have not been watching my Vlogmas videos and you like Christmas videos, then head on over to my second channel, Elle's Glitter Gossip, because I'm doing a video every single day up until Christmas Eve. I'll admit, some of the days I have not really been able to put up a video if I've been doing a lot of stuff, so I put up two the next day, like I'm a little bit behind, but you know what? 24 videos will be up between now and Christmas Eve. So yeah, and there's a giveaway in every single video. So if you haven't been watching that, go on over there. But even though it's last minute, I really did want to do this video because I found my Santa hat again. I didn't have it last year. Also last year I did a gift guide. I did a stocking stuffers video. I think I did two gift guides. Then I did something else, a spa and a stocking video. So I will link all of those videos below because honestly last year I feel like I just covered everything. So if you are looking for gift suggestions past what I'm going to show you in this video, then check out all the videos I will have linked below because there's more good ideas and I spent a lot of time last year coming up with these gift guides. So, but I didn't want to be left out of my own what to buy people a Christmas time club that I feel like I'm a part of. I feel like I've done every year. Last year when I did this video, I split it up into categories of type of person you were buying it for. So I had book lovers, I had tea lovers, I had fashionistas, beauty girls. This year I'm just going to do it as like gifts that I would like to receive slash the type of gifts that I'm buying other people. So if you want like a more specified gift guide, then watch last year's because that's how I did it last year. So I have three categories of gifts today for this video. I have medium large gifts, then I have small kind of stocking stuffer-esque gifts, and then I have an idea for like a big-ish, bigger gift at the end, if that makes sense. So I'm going to start with like big, medium, big gifts. So I went to Sephora, you guys know this thing makes it into my gift guide every year because this is one of the very first things that I got when I was starting with my YouTube videos and really into beauty products and I just loved it. Like I remember it being one of the most exciting things that I had gotten. I know, you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, it's mascara, like why were you so excited? But the Sephora Lash Dash, they do this every single year, you get deluxe samples of like a bunch of different types of mascaras and then you also get in this one lashes which is kind of cool they do something different every year I think one year they had eye makeup remover the year I did it they just had the mascara like I, it wasn't cool enough yet it was like the first year or something um but yeah you get 12 it's a 12 piece set that comes with three full-size products and a lash primer wow I didn't even know that Mine didn't come with any full-size product. They seem to be getting better every year. Maybe they feel like they have to top the year before so that people keep buying them. But I put it in my gift guide every year because I think for the right person, this is such a fun gift. For someone who really likes beauty products and really wants to sample and try out a lot of different things. And also, if you know someone who makes YouTube videos, this is a good one because they can have lots of different mascaras to play with. So this is $45, it's a $132 US value, and it's from Sephora, like I said. Okay, the next thing, the next two things are also from Sephora. These, again, this next one makes it into my gift guide every single year because I just love it. This is the Sephora Fragrance Sampler for her. They also have a version for guys, so if you are shopping for a boyfriend and you want to get him a cologne but he's hard to shop for, he's picky or you're picky and you have no idea what you like on him, they have a boys version as well. This set comes with deluxe samples of 12 of their most popular fragrances. And then the coolest thing about this is after you smell them all, you decide which one's your favorite, you can take the scent certificate that's included in here and exchange it at a Sephora for one full size perfume for no extra cost. Like that's part of the set. So you're basically giving someone 12 samples plus a full size perfume for $50. I think that's pretty good because perfume is pretty... Um, expensive in general so you're basically buying them a perfume but you're giving it in a form where they can kind of pick it after trying out a lot of scents so I just think this is genius I think it's really cool and I've actually never had one of these given to me but I think I'd really like it I don't know I have a lot of perfume I probably don't need it but I think this is a really good gift the next thing I've never seen before and it's never been in a gift guide video and this is the Sephora by OPI tinsel town nail polish set look how fun this thing is so it comes with how many colors one two three four five six seven eight sixteen colors plus a full-size glitter top coat Ugh, and they're minis but you know what nail polishes last for so long 
like you're not ever going to go through a mini unless you wear it like every day for 25,000 years. I just think this is so fun. It's the collector set. And if you like OPI or if you know someone who's like a nail polish person, this is how much money is this? How many doll hairs does this cost? It doesn't say. That's weird. Well, anyway, I think it was like 50. Most of the things in my gift guide you will see on my Vlogmas videos on my second channel because I'm doing a giveaway every day. And some of these things I actually bought knowing I was going to show them in the gift guide and then give them away to someone. See how that works? Because it's a gift guide. Presents you give to people. I would like to now take a moment and shamelessly self-promote my own products. So don't turn this video off. There's still a lot of fun stuff coming. But I think these products would be good gifts slash stocking stuffers. So I'm just going to show them. I don't want to annoy you guys. But you know what? If you made YouTube videos and you were doing a gift guide and you had your own products that you thought were cool, you would show them too. So that's my disclaimer. First of all, Beneath the Glitter, my novel, written by me and my sister Blair, who's amazing. She came in here a few minutes ago and I was like, Blair, I'm filming. Do you see that? That's her. Yeah, we're sisters. Do I look like my picture? How am I? Yeah, because we have our good sides. Blair made me sit on my bad side in this picture. Rude. Rude. We are actually working on the second one right now that is named Where Beauty Lies and... I just Instagrammed a picture of the cover if you guys are interested and you want to see what the sequel looks like. The next thing is the Skylark Snow Kissed Cashmere Eyeshadow Palette. This is from our makeup line Skylark and it comes with six eyeshadow colors and a cheek highlight along with a full size dual ended brush. So pretty. And then the last thing, I know you guys are probably going to be like, Elle, stop promoting your own stuff. Cell phone cases. Look how pretty this is. You cannot say you don't like this. Plus it kind of matches my hat. I was in Michael Kors the other day. I was looking at the watches. This is a Michael Kors watch. And I had this cell phone case and the guy was like, oh my goodness, your cell phone case matches your watch. And I was like, I never like thought about that. And I was so impressed that he had like noticed that. So we have a lot of cell phone cases too. Okay, moving on from my own products. Um, I have more gifts. These are smaller gifts. So these are more like stocking stuffer ideas or if you have like a secret Santa swap. I hope most of them haven't happened by the time you guys are seeing this video. I normally put this video up so much sooner. I feel like such a slacker this year, guys. Like where have I been living? Under a hat? So I have four little things from Forever 21. These are all inexpensive little things. I know not everyone has access to Forever 21 or Sephora. I hate that because I feel like my gift guide isn't always worldwide international because some of these stores you guys can't get but I can't get some of the stores you guys can get so I don't know how to do a gift guide sirens from that store from those stores so I'm just going to show you what I picked up from forever 21 so even if you don't have a forever 21 you can use these types of ideas and go to the stores you do have and kind of get similar things so I got a cute makeup bag this is from forever 21 I just said that and this was four dollars and eighty cents and it's cute. It's like a cute purse makeup bag. It's pretty spacious. It has paper inside of it. You would take that out probably before giving it to someone. The next thing is this tiny little floral brush set. I just thought this was so precious. This was $3.80. It looks like it's like a keychain, but I don't think that you should put this on your keychain. I think that's kind of weird. Um, I just think it's a nice little travel set and the brush handles are so like vintage looking and I just really like them. This, I'm actually going to keep for myself. I think this is so cute. It's a little tiny dachshund ring holder. It's like a little weenie dog. How much was this? $4.80. And like I said, it's just a little weenie dog. Look how cute. I love it. You can put your rings in it. So I'm going to put this by my sink. Not that I have any rings on right now, but like when you're taking your rings off and you're washing your hands or when you're getting in the shower, I'm just going to put this by my sink to be a little ring catch-all so that it doesn't go down the drain and bye-bye rings. And then I saw this as I was checking out. This is like kind of a waste of money, but you know what I was checking out and I was like, that's really cute. I want to show it in my video. This is a lump of coal. It was at the checkout line of Forever 21 and it says, you deserve a lump of coal and it's milk chocolate peanut butter cream filled since 1879 they've been making coal since 1879 at this chocolate factory and it's oh i was gonna say it's heart shaped but no it's just coal shaped i thought that was cute i'm gonna give this pine cone he's a bad boy this is from bath and body works but it's an ornament and it has a shea infused polar bear sock inside that's cute like if you were doing like a secret santa gift and you wanted to get something a little bit bigger and then kind of hang this on the bag or put it on a tree or put it on your tree for yourself for Christmas morning or for your sister. 
Maybe I'll hang this on the tree for my sister, like on Christmas Eve, and be like, Santa brought you Shane Few socks, polar bears. Kind of cute, huh? I also found a couple of smaller items at Sephora. In their checkout line, they have the cutest things that are for like more inexpensive prices. So the first one is a miniature version of the fragrance sampler. So if you don't have $50 to spend, but you like the idea behind giving a fragrance sampler, this one is $18 and it comes with five scents and then it comes with a scent certificate for a full-sized roller ball. So instead of getting you know, 12 cents with a full size perfume, you get five cents with a full size roller ball for cheaper. I thought this was cute. This is a really cute little stocking stuffer. Like it's little and cute and I just like it. And it comes with some pretty good scents too. I love Daisy. This is the Lancome Paris Hypno Star Mascara Collection. This comes, this is my favorite eye makeup remover. It comes with a bifacial eye makeup remover. It comes with the Hypno Star Mascara, the mascara base and the art liner. So yeah, a lot of Lancome products in a little box, and it's very Christmassy, and it has Betty Boop on it, and I just think that's cute. Yes, it's very cute. And then I just got three little sample-sized hand food, or Soap and Glory products. So I got the hand food, I got this for myself to put in my purse, I got the Clean On Me Creamy Shower Gel for when I travel, and I got the Righteous Butter Body Butter the little sample size and these were like five dollars each I think which is a pretty good price for travel sized products and then my very last suggestion is if you have a much bigger budget for a gift if you want to get someone something a little bit more well a lot a bit more substantial like a more expensive gift I would suggest getting a Michael Kors watch I love mine I wear it every single day and they range in price from 150 to 400 depending on which style you want so you definitely have a little bit of a price range even within that category but you know if you're shopping for a daughter or a niece or a sister and you have a bigger budget a Michael Kors watch is really really nice and I love mine okay so that is everything for today's gift guide like I said last year, I had a lot more suggestions. I'll leave the video below, like I said. I also have a bunch of other kind of Christmassy gift guide suggestion videos. I'll link all of them. If you guys want more inspiration on what to buy people, then definitely check those out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.